today we will be talking about antibodies immunoglobulins right the concepts about immunoglobulins are very important these are one of the most important molecules in our body we cannot survive without them in such a hostile world where there are so many microbes and so many path pathogens which are trying to invade our body and destroy destroy our tissue now exactly what are antibodies anti bodies they are also called immuno yes please immuno globulins now what are exactly antibodies from where they come in our body and exactly where they are present right major portion of the antibodies circulating in the blood right antibodies are special protein molecules antibodies are very special type of protein molecules which are secreted by plasma cells antibodies are special type of protein molecules which are secreted by the plasma cells now what what is a plasma cell actually whenever a b lymphocyte whenever a b lymphocytes becomes fully differentiated and becomes fully functional right it start producing antibodies it starts secreting y shaped molecules or antibodies so antibodies are the products of proteinaceous product of well differentiated b cells or protein products of plasma cells is that right now exactly in the blood in which component of the blood antibodies are present yes please question goes to very impressive doctor dr safa in which component of the blood antibodies are present let's come with very simple thing everyone knows that blood has two components cell then yes please plasma and plasma has many components is that right one of the component is plasma proteins actually antibodies are the part of the plasma proteins it's a very basic concept that where antibodies are antibodies are present yes present in your blood as the proteinaceous component of the plasma the plasma has many type of proteins now we have to see that within the plasma and within the plasma protein where antibodies are exactly present so dr israel may answer us that your plasma has proteins and one component of the plasma proteins are basically antibodies now uh, which component of the plasma protein is having antibodies i'm about to be impressed by him i think he is very serious right now he doesn't want to answer so i will do it myself look uh, one of the way let's suppose that on this filter paper we put a drop of plasma right we put all the plasma proteins here we put all the plasma proteins here you know plasma protein the positively charged or negatively charged like to keep secrets you don't tell me plasma proteins are negatively charged is that right at body ph which is 7.4 by the way at the body ph plasma proteins are negatively charged now because most of the plasma proteins are negatively charged if you put a drop of plasma on this filter paper and you run the current across it for example you put negative electrode here and positive electrode here of course plasma proteins will move from negative electrode towards positive electrode because plasma proteins are themselves negative so they will be repelled by the negative and of course they will be attracted to the positive so plasma protein will start moving now as plasma proteins start moving this segregate into group because all the plasma proteins don't move right with the same speed on this paper you can answer this the plasma protein is very heavy right that will move fastly or slowly slowly actually those plasma proteins which are more negative and smaller in molecular weight they will be more smart and they will rush fastly so what really happens that some of the plasma proteins will reach here right then there will be some here 
here and here and here. Now these are the plasma proteins which are smallest in molecular weight, right? And they are more mobile, right? So they will come over here. This was the movement, right? Heavier plasma proteins will be left behind. Is that right? If you divide the plasma protein or segregate the plasma protein by this way, this is called process of electrophoresis. Have you heard of it? Process of electrophoresis. When you do electrophoresis of the plasma proteins, right, the electrophoresis. Is that right? Now, electrophoresis when you do the plasma proteins, the smallest molecule of weight will be here and as the plasma proteins become more and more heavier, they are segregated in a different band, right? Actually, these plasma proteins as a group are called, just please, albumins. Because albumins are the smallest molecular weight. And this whole group of plasma proteins, this three, this is called globulins. Globulins. And this is post fibrinogen. Is that right? Another way to show this is that you draw a graph. Graph is that if you put molecular weight here and you are classifying the plasma protein according to the increasing molecular weight on this side and plasma protein concentration on this side, then this is albumin. What is this? This is albumin and these are globulins. Am I clear? Now out of this, this is alpha globulin, these are beta globulins, these are gamma globulins. It means primarily plasma proteins are albumin and globulins and globulins can be separated, globulins are globular protein, can be separated right according to their molecular weight into alpha globulins, beta globulins and gamma globulins. Is that right? Am I clear? Albumin's molecular weight is about approximately 70 kilo Dalton, but globulin's molecular weight is from 90 to 120 kilo Dalton. Kilo Dalton, right? Now, within this shade, where exactly antibodies are present? That is the question. Now, I think you should be intelligent enough to guess. In this band, this is albumin, alpha globulin, beta globulin, gamma globulin, and exactly where the plasma proteins are segregated. Israel, Dr. Safa. Of course, they are not alpha and beta, they are in gamma. Actually, if you study, if you study these plasma proteins, these are antibodies. If you study this band, this is antibody. So, where are the plasma protein in your body? Plasma proteins are of course in the plasma, but within the plasma protein, where are the antibodies? Antibodies are part of the gamma globulins. Actually, that is why antibodies are also given another name. What is that name? Gamma globulins. Simple as that. Am I clear? So, there are three names. The antibodies, the immunoglobulins, these are gamma globulins. Now, these are three same name for the same type of molecule. Is that right? That gamma globulins mean those globular proteins which are part of the gamma fragment, right? Or gamma band on electrophoresis of plasma protein. Immunoglobulins mean what? Those globulin proteins which have immune function. They are also antibodies. And what are antibodies? Antibodies are those protein molecules which are secreted by well differentiated B cells called plasma cells and antibodies specifically, this is very important, antibody molecules specifically react with, antibody molecules specifically react with the antigens which stimulated the formation of those antibodies. So what are antibodies? Antibodies are protein molecules secreted by the secreted by the plasma cells which can, which react specifically with those antigens which elicited their or stimulated their formation or stimulated their synthesis am i clear no problem up to this now if i give you a statement i say that antibodies are those globular 
proteins right which are produced by the plasma cells and they react with specifically with the antigens which lead uh, which stimulated their formation plus i can say antibodies are also called immunoglobulins because why we call the antibodies immunoglobulins because antibody molecules are just proteins which are part of the globular globulin components of the plasma protein and which component of the globulins gamma globulins is that right so next time if i someone asks you that in your blood where the antibodies are present you say remove the cells left is the plasma out of the plasma separate the proteins run the proteins electrophorically and find the gamma band and all your antibodies will be present in gamma band am i clear there is no problem up to this.